debate that's been going on for maybe the last 30 some odd years um, regarding women's position in ministry, uh, women's conversation in ministry. Does women have a voice in ministry? Um, how do men, men view women as not being important when it comes to uh, ministry and all of these different things has been a big fueling debate, which has caused a lot of separation, discord, a lot of conversation um, that is unhealthy. Um, and people are jockeying and fighting for position and their right of conversation or their right of position within ministry. My thing is this, dealing with ministry, um, just dealing with the Lord and the Lord revealing things, we first have to understand before we can even get into the topic of conversation about women position in ministry, before we can get into any topic of conversation of dealing with women at all um, when it comes down to this supposedly quote unquote male dominated um, feel or calling, shall I say, we first need to get into looking from the lens of how does the creator view women? That's the thing. I think that people are starting from a position of ladder than starting from the beginning of getting an understanding. It's the same way when people try to go into New Testament understanding without having an understanding of the Old Testament. You can't go into the New Covenant of understanding if you don't first understand the Old Covenant, what it's about and the parameters of it. First, we have to understand how does God view women through God's lens, not through our own selfish lens, because men can be very selfish. I'm being transparent here. Y'all know me. I don't choose no sides. I don't take no sides. If you're Christian and you're wrong, if you're Hebrew and you're wrong, I'm going to tell you what does say of the Lord. And in this particular situation, it's the same thing. Men sometimes can be a bit selfish. Women also can be a bit aggressive, shall I say. Men can be very selfish and women can be very aggressive. Both of these positions are not honoring in the sight of the creator. The creator doesn't like women being extra aggressive about a position and willing to go to the measures of saying and doing whatever it takes just to justify their position of, hey, I want to lead or whatnot. Men would go to the extreme measures of trying to prove the fact that women have no position when it comes down to doing the work of God and sometimes will bend scripture to push their position. In order for us to really understand the position of women in ministry, we first have to understand how does God view women? Does God view women as a person or a creation that is a bit that is just a notch above a slave? Or does God view the woman in great admiration as his creation as he does the man? This is the position and theme that we have to get to.